you first start learning guitar, it can often seem completely impossible that you could ever hold down a string with one finger. Without that finger obstructing the strings either side of it. So that the obstructed strings sound either buzzy or completely dead. This can of course be immensely frustrating and I know for a fact that it's one cause of people giving up the guitar, wrongly assuming that they're just not physically cut out for it. In this little video we'll take a quick look at three solutions to this problem. One of the most common causes of the problem is simply that your guitar doesn't fit you. We all have different sizes and shapes of hands and fingers. Short fingers, long fingers, fingers fat as sausages or skinny as french fries, narrow palms, wide palms, short palms and long palms. And because of these differences, guitar manufacturers produce guitar necks with a fair amount of variation in shape and in size. For example, here are three broad classifications of neck profile, each named after letters of the alphabet which resemble the shape of the cross section of the neck. You can perhaps see that the C-shaped profile of my guitar neck comfortably fits my palm size and finger length. So my first tip is to hunt down guitars with different shaped neck profiles and find the one that best suits your particular hand shape. But most important for people with chunky fingers is the width of the guitar neck, as measured here at the nut of the guitar. The nut is this little bit of plastic fixed at the end of the fretboard, and its main job is to keep the strings evenly spaced apart. When talking about nut width, it's important to measure from the groove where the bottom string sits to the groove where the top string sits. So that's from bottom E string to top E string. And here is a rough guide of the range of nut widths that are typical of different types of acoustic guitar. You can see that there is significant variation. A wider nut width keeps the strings spaced further apart and this goes a long way towards reducing the problem of chunky fingertips obstructing adjacent strings. The next thing to check is just how you use your fingers to press down the strings. Most of us have fingertips that are wider than they are deep. So placing the fingers this way is more likely to cause obstruction than if we place them this way. Experiment with angling your hand so that the narrowest part of the fingertip is used to contact the string and press the string against the fret. Notice that you may have to alter your wrist position, the angle of your forearm, the position of your elbow, and even your shoulder in order to get the best approach for your fingertips. There are no hard and fast rules 
different things work for different hand shapes and sizes. So the message here is very much to experiment and find the approach that best suits you. Finally, perhaps reassuringly, no matter how bad this problem appears to you right now, I can promise you that the more you practice, the more likely you are to overcome the problem. This is partly because you automatically improve your positioning with practice as the flow of information coming back to your brain via your ears causes you to make minute adjustments and corrections. Also, the more you play, the harder your fingertips get. And this prevents them from broadening out as you press down on the string. If you found this little video useful, please click on the like button if there is one, or leave a comment. And do feel free to share the video with your friends. And if you'd like to gain full access to all our guitar teaching materials, please visit the Secret Guitar Teacher website and take a free look round at what's available there. See you again soon.